Listen. Do you hear that sound? You may think it's the wind, but it's not. The sound is coming from these sand dunes, like a long note from a musical instrument. Booming sounds like this have been heard in deserts all over the world, by ancient travelers in the Sahara, by Charles Darwin in the Chilean desert, and by this research team from California Institute of Technology. No one fully understands how and why this occurs, but Melanie Hunt and Christopher Brennan are seeking an answer here at the Dumont Dunes in Death Valley, California. This location is one of about 30 places around the world that have what are described as booming dunes. The Caltech team has been studying this phenomenon for two years now, trying to explain the sand's ability to produce acoustic energy when disturbed. One theory stems from the fact that there are a couple of layers to a dune. Below the top layer of loose sand, there is a harder, damper layer. The dampness creates surface tension that binds the layers together, keeping the force of gravity from causing the loose sand to move down the slope. As the sun beats down, the top layer dries out and the cohesion weakens. A bit of wind can set an avalanche of sand into motion, converting the potential energy of the sand into kinetic energy in the moving sand. Some of this kinetic energy is then converted into acoustic energy by the sand particles. Better get your goggles on. To make this sand dune sing today, the Caltech team will hike up 300 feet and attempt to simulate an avalanche. By sliding down the dune, they will put the loose sand in motion and begin the conversion from potential to kinetic energy. Keep going, guys. I got a little bit of a boom. A little bit of a boom. You hear it there? We got it. Down here, Mal. The team thinks that part of the reason they can create this sound is that the sand in this location has an unusual trait. The sand grains are roughly all the same size, so that when they bounce off each other, they create the same sound. And we believe that that's part of the explanation for this booming sign, that all the grains are more or less the same size. So when they flow over one another, they hit each other at a roughly the same frequency. The Caltech team uses a seismic device called a geophone to measure the booming sound. They later feed the data into a computer back at Caltech. And this shows you that the sound that we were hearing is predominantly a single frequency. The frequency that was created at the dune was that of the musical note G. After two years of research and many visits to booming dune sites worldwide, the team has identified a few key factors that make a dune sing. It's not only the size of the sand grains that are propelled down the incline via kinetic energy, but also the height of the slope, the change in surface tension, and the degree of mobility of the top loose layer of sand compared to the hard packed layer beneath. The team at Caltech still has quite a bit more documentation to do to confirm their theories, but this creative group hopes to have the mystery solved one day.